I'm Dr. Sumana Kola Ramachandra, working as a Chief of Liver Transplant and Consultant HBB Surgery at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Yashwantur. Uh, yes, uh, you need to take medications uh, for lifelong. So we categorize these medications into immunosuppressants and antibiotics and antifungals and uh, antivirals and others. So immunosuppression medication is very important because uh, this, this has to be taken for life and different hospitals have different protocols and anywhere between two to three medications is used uh, for an individual and these immunosuppression medications actually are tapered uh, over the three months and then gradually over the next one or two years ultimately they are kept on only a single medication for lifelong. And this single medication also can start, the dosages can start coming down because the patient starts becoming tolerant towards uh, the organ that they have and so the, the medications uh, start tapering. The other medications that we give are antibiotics, sometimes antifungals and antivirals are given as prophylaxis. So these are other medications, so the first one month you have many medications that you have to take and then gradually it starts getting tapered. The complications of these immunosuppression medicines are multiple depending on the dosage that the patient is using and these complications can vary from simple nausea, vomiting, itching, diarrhea etc. to uh, more serious complications which could be neurological complications and uh, complications affecting their kidneys. So the neurological complications can be just tremors or irritability and it can be as worse as having seizures. Over the long term, the, these immunosuppression medications can actually start affecting the kidneys and these people can have kidney failures in the long run. But with the advent of newer medications which has come up, the complications the, and the introduction of new or multiple drugs, we can actually try and reduce the complications of these individual uh, immunosuppression medications. So the other uh, serious complications that the immunosuppressants can cause is that it can cause cancers, especially the skin cancers and something called post-transplant uh, lymphoproliferative disease that is something uh, similar to lymphoma due to the medications. But these are all rarer complications uh, that we see. So the other simple complications or the other controllable complications are obesity. The newer drugs can actually cause obesity and introduce diabetes in patients who are not diabetics or worsen the diabetes in patients uh, who are already diabetics. It can cause hypertension. So these are all called as metabolic syndrome and this can be actually controlled by lifestyle modifications that the patient can use in terms of exercising, dietary modifications and continuing to be having a healthy lifestyle. So the metabolic syndrome that the, these patients develop can actually be uh, curtailed or reduced to a certain extent by a good lifestyle modification in these patients. <laughs>